Here's a secret that's not a secret. I like YouTube. I watch YouTube, which means my kids watch YouTube too. And today I'm going to share 11 YouTube channels that I like as a homeschooler. Who am I? I'm Jacqueline and this is homeschoolhangout.xyz. And I am a veteran homeschooler of, oh, it's going to age me, 17 years. And my goal in life is to make videos and have a website that helps you guys homeschool with self-confidence and calmness and help you take your kids into their future. If you like homeschool videos, if you like me, if you like YouTube, do me a favor, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on social media, join my homeschool hangout by nerd family, Facebook group, join my discard, buy me a discard, discord, buy me a cup of coffee and all the things. And let's get into it. Okay. So this is a uh, collaboration of favorite YouTube channels and it's being hosted by Ashley Renee at Gathered and Grounded. At the end of this video, not now, go down and watch the cl collaboration list down in the bottom and see what kind of YouTube channels other people like. My YouTube channels, I will be honest, are for your kids. They are well, you'll like them too. But these are not support uh, YouTube channels. These are cool, interesting channels you and your kids might like. I've tried to get these a little grouped. I'm going to talk about each one. I do have 11. The first one is Viheart. If you've ever heard me talk about math videos or Khan Academy or Pi or Tau, you've heard me talk about Viheart. She does great math videos where she draws and she talks about math concepts, including really advanced math concepts, but makes them very entertaining and digestible for children. This is not necessarily at this point a um, tutoring type video for younger kids, but it introduces math concepts so that when they get to them, they're very interesting. She actually um, is also makes videos over on Khan Academy and as a teacher there but we have watched her for years and we love her. Three Blue, One Brown is another math channel. I know, I own Nerd Family. I'm the nerd mom. What a shock. We love math so much. They do animation videos for math concepts and they're fantastic. My giant nerdy husband loves them, found them, and introduced them to the rest of the family and they're great. Crash Course, okay. So have you heard of Fault in Your Stars? Fault in the Stars? It was a movie. It was a book uh, by John Green. Well, Crash Course is a joint project between John Green and Hank Green. And they make educational videos. And they make them on different subjects. And they have crash courses. They have partnered with PBS. They have partnered with Khan Academy. I know even my biological anthropology class that my daughter just took in college had crash course videos that they recommended. We really like them. They aren't like preschooly, but they really make things approachable. And John and Hank Green are just kind of awesome. They really, really are. The next one I have listed is Horrible Histories. Okay, any Anglophiles out there? Any Brits? Uh, Horrible Histories is a children's series through the BBC. And they have songs. They have skits. They have dorky little songs. They have songs on memorizing the English monarchy. It's, they have so many great things. They are iconic and I highly recommend it. it. It's goofy. It's silly. It's wonderful. If you like history at all, or frankly, if you don't like history, these may be the people for you. Sticking in the history genre, I have something called History Teachers. And it's literally, and I'll have all these linked down below. History Teachers is somebody who's not currently making videos, but that's okay. They have plenty. And they do musical history parodies. And I got to be honest, even for me, it really helped me. I mean, they've got a song on the Olmecs. They got the song on the Borgias, and it's pretty clean. If you know anything about the Borgias, that's a challenge. Uh, they have lots of different songs. Uh, they're catchy. They're fun. The Mary Queen of Scots that is parody is done on top of JLo's uh, Jenny from the Block. Oh, so good. They aren't currently making videos, but that's okay. I highly recommend them. Okay, the next one is going more in the science nerdy. 
and it's interactive biology. This is definitely, how do I say this? I would show it to younger kids, but junior high and high school, Leslie Samuels does a wonderful job teaching science concepts. And now I admit, I'm one of those that I always say with all of these, monitor them for things. You don't even need to monitor Leslie's for any appropriateness. But these concepts are more advanced than your first and second grader need. But why not introduce it now? Why not? Love it. Leslie does breakdowns. Leslie actually taught science in a college at one point. And he uh, has some music and his wife is a professional uh, singer and she comes in and helps on some of them. He has explainers. He has skits. He has so much fun material. Okay, now we're going to get into these other ones that are not necessarily academic, but they're viewed as important in my household. The first one is Clean My Space. She is a professional house cleaner. I think she's up in Canada, and she makes cleaning really approachable. You got kids, they've got stuff, they have bathrooms, kitchens, we got to clean things. This isn't something necessarily that's going to be uber entertaining, I'll be honest. But it does a great job of like all the uses of vinegar and how to, you know, clean a room. In that same vein, I really like Cass over at Clutterbuck. She does a lot with organizing. And I'll be honest, my kids really liked it because she actually approaches it from a systemic thing of what appeals to you. Do you like everything hidden away? Do you like everything out? How do you figure out what type of organizing works for you? And then based on that, she has lots of videos on how to organize different things. Closets, pens, pencils. I know this sounds a little silly for kids, but my kids really appreciated it. My girls specifically really liked it because it helped them tune into the best way to organize their stuff so they could keep their rooms clean. I have one who very much wants to see all her stuff. She wants her collections out. I have another one who has ADHD who doesn't need to see the pretty, but she needs to see the organization or she forgets it's there. Then there's the combinations. I like everything being micro-organized. Other people don't. And she kind of goes through that and is pretty good. Now, I will say she has stories at the end of her videos None of them are blue or anything like that, but they're, they're not aimed at kids. That's all I'll say. It's just, you know, talking about silly things her family does and things like that. You'll enjoy them too. Okay. And the next ones are in personal productivity and um, just business and all that stuff. And the first one is Amy Landino. I really like her. She talks about how to plan your days. She talks about how to be productive. She talks about... She's written books. Um, I now I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's like, you know, good morning, good life kind of thing. She does morning routines, all of that. She does do vlogs. She is married with a couple kids. And um, she is now. When she started, she wasn't. I really like her for just kind of distilling down how to be productive. She's doing a lot um, now with the GTD system, getting things done. She, you know, talks about how to organize all that kind of stuff. And I really like it. I really love it for high schoolers, especially. It's also something, these are all ones that you can watch and get a lot out of around your kids and your kids will be picking it up. The next one is Ali Abdal. He is a productivity specialist. And one of the things I love about him that I very much uh, want to, to expose my children or have exposed my children to him is he actually was at a point where he was making lots of money, lots and lots of money and realized though he wasn't living the life he wanted to live. What's the use of having all this money if you can't do and accomplish the things you want to accomplish. And so he like tuned down his business and then published a book. I love his outlook on positive productivity he started his channel while he was in med school in Britain. I also love the fact that he talks about side hustles and getting in. I, I've sent my kids numerous of his videos of, if I was starting over, this is what I do. I would, you know, 
make thumbnails, how do you get into these, some of these industries, things like that. And he has a few different channels. I like his base channel. He also has some in-depth interviews with people who are really big in business and productivity um, on another channel. And those are long videos. The last one. Okay. The last one I love for so many different reasons. Um, but she makes a lot of different videos. So, and, and this is the one that I would say, um, is more for older children or for you screening them. And it is how to cook that. And I believe her name is Ann Reardon and I love her. And here's why I love her, how I found her. She started, I mean, she's a professional cook, but she started debunking the tasty videos and all of that stuff. And she started off just going, okay, this food that, you know, they show you in the 60 second, 90 second clip, how easy it is to do that. It wouldn't turn out that way. And I loved it for a couple of reasons when she started out too, of one, my kids have seen those tasty videos and it's like, well, why don't we just do that? But it also helped my children to put on a more critical eye towards what they see on the internet. You know, what you see on Instagram, what you see on YouTube commercials, all of that of like, life's so easy. Here's this hack. Here's this thing. Now she's also got into, I'm going to pull up her channel so that I can reference this pop properly. She has gotten into some of the more dangerous things. Um, there's been some dangerous TikTok recipes out there that have really made people sick. There's been some uh, craft hacks that have actually cost people their lives. And so that's why I say uh, some of these things are really light and bubbly of, you know, we're going to deal with like, you know, just I'm, I'm looking right now, you know, let's see, popular videos, you know, how to like put these things together and know it doesn't work that way. And then she has, you know, great things, how to, you know, make Minecraft cakes. She has the whole gamut, but she does get into some of these things of this dangerous hack that costs 30 lives. I believe she's Australian. She's been on TV shows talking about this and everything else. And I like it because it just introduces and it helps your children think with a more critical eye about some of this stuff. Like I said, I wouldn't, you know, anything that causes serious harm and she may talk about the fact that it caused serious harm that you may not want to show um, your kids. But she does plenty of, you know, debunking the pine needle soda. Um, I'm looking at some of these. The um, debunking the fire reveal cakes. Debunking, you know, that kind of stuff. And she gets into other things like, you know. Is an air fryer worth the money? She does all that kind of stuff. So I'm not saying that I've watched every type of her video, but I have watched a lot of um, that stuff. My kids love it. Oh, bonus video just hit me. So not going to set up to 12. Max Miller tasting history. He does a phenomenal job of taking ancient foods, taking historical foods and recreating them based on the original recipes. But he goes beyond that. While things are cooking, he really talks about the history of the time periods behind it. I've turned on numerous other adult geeks and nerds onto it, and my kids love him. Um, so my kids have watched his stuff with us. And I'll be honest, we found him for us. We didn't find him for the kids. And we just, we love him. He's great. He's so great. And he really does talk about the old recipes, what it's morphed into, but he makes those original recipes. He made like Anzac biscuits based off of like original things. And he's made mead and he's made salads. I mean, you'd be amazed when cookbooks were starting to be published. And it is just fascinating and fun. And he's really entertaining as he does it. So there's your bonus video. So 12 of my favorite videos for homeschoolers. What do you like to watch? What do your kids like to watch? Do me a favor, drop it in the comments. Make sure to check out all the other videos in the collaboration. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.